They say there's nothing like being here at a state of origin. But at the Nine Network, we've always strived to make sure our viewers have the next best thing to a front row seat on Halfway. Over the years, we've had some very funny moments, some legendary commentators, and behind the scenes, the very best in the business at producing live sport. The web is held by Badiris and Kamali and Lanny. In a nutshell, a good sports production crew is exactly the same as the athlete who's competing in the game. That just as a player is going to play above himself in a huge game, be it a grand final, be it a state of origin, that everyone involved in the television production is going to lift their game accordingly. <laughs> Sports television production, David Hill has captained some of the world's best teams. During the NFL season in the United States, the head of Fox Sports America controls as many as eight games of football at once, broadcasting to an audience in the tens of millions. The boss they call Hilly ran nine sports when State of Origin entered our weeknight living rooms. Well, first of all, it was prime time. And, and uh, any time you take a sporting event out of Sunday, Saturday afternoon and put it into prime time, that you owe it to yourself and you owe it to the viewers to, to, to make a lot more of it than you would. So you've got to bring a lot more production values to it and, and you've got to dress it up. One of the first things David did was hire a commentator who became State of Origin's high decibel voice for more than a decade. David said to me, I, I want you to be yourself. He said, the reason I got you to Channel 9, because you've got a, a passion for sport, you've got an exuberance that can't be controlled, and he said, I want you to go over the top. Daryl was joined by Ian Bear Maurice, and in a typically left field piece of David Hill production, along came Jack Gibson. The super coach of the 80s had to be dragged to the microphone. Jack didn't want to become a television personality, and I was desperate to get him. I thought he was just a living legend. He was he was a coach of Parramatta, and, and he had all these wonderful sayings. Like, like I still use one of Jack saying, gee, son, you played strong and done good. But even in the company cardigan bought by David, Jack was still a reluctant on-camera talent alongside Nine host Mike Gibson. But viewers were intrigued. They knew that Jack knew a lot more than he was saying. And that's what made every line worth waiting for. Jack Gibson, commentator, sometimes comedian. I'm going to get paid By 1984, the opening of Origin 3 made fun of the fact that New South Wales couldn't get their selections right. Captain Ray Price was left out, and the telecast began in his lounge room. Here's Miles. Miles! Miles in the clear! Miles to the corner line! It's there! Miles to the body block! And Chris uh, Now settle down, Ray. You're just going to have to sit down and watch it on the TV like the rest of us mortals. Uh, In 1986, Michael O'Connor kicked the Blues to a second straight series win. Something had to be going on. And Nine's coverage found a New South Wales spy at Lang Park. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> another, another New South Wales ball. Jeez, it's hard to get used to. Boy. In 1987, Alan Langer arrived to help Queensland dominate for two years. Anyone with any idea of TV history could appreciate Jack Gibson's job when he became coach for 1989. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to take command of the beleaguered Blue Army. Every year would see a new take on the same old story that we've never grown tired of. Hey, do you know what, Queensland? 
Landers are such good golfers? Huh? Why? <laughs> because I have plenty of things to practice hitting. For... <laughs> By 1994, we were searching the storybooks for suitable parables for origin. A task made harder, considering Queensland were heading for a third straight series loss. Maybe I'll get around Spurwell, but you won't get around me. People enjoyed, people to go past as players, take the mickey out of ourselves and have a bit of fun with things. And, um, you know, again, you know, humanises everything, you know. We are human beings, um, we play rugby league really well. Um, but, you know, we're just Joe Bloggs out, out in society, so I think that um, those sort of things, I reckon, were really good for the game. In the new millennium, an Origin Night on Nine has become a major event. There are more cameras, they bring us higher quality pictures, and they give the viewer access to every part of the game. Ray Warren has been the voice of Origin for almost 50 matches. Yeah, you get up for Origin, very much so. Uh, again, it comes back to... The expectations on you are just as high as uh, on, on everybody around you, cameramen, directors, producers. You can just feel there's that, that atmosphere of urgency, that, that desire to be successful. So that gets to you. Like Origin itself, Mines coverage has come a long way and owes so much to the standards that were set right from the start. Decades of origin football.